Hi, welcome to another episode of Six Cents Out of a Nickel. I'd like to explain inflation to you today. And I'm not talking about basketballs or what might be in your tickle trunk. Uh, that's a Mr. Dress Up reference. Don't get too excited. Um, basically, inflation is when there's more money in the economy than there are things to buy with it. It's really that simple. That's when prices rise. It's all supply and demand. If there's less supply and more demand, people are willing to pay more for a particular item in order to get it. It's the same with, with base, rare baseball cards, rare comic books, uh, rare coins. Uh, that's ba basically the principle. Now money is uh, considered anything including uh, bonds, which are government debt, uh, allowing the government to borrow money from the, the people. Uh, it's also consumer debt, in which money gets lent out. Uh, by different organizations, including banks, and also cash, because they all spend the same way. All money spends as money. There's really no differentiation between them all. And then goods and services are not only the supply of goods and services, but the demand that there is for them. And I'll give you a quick example. If there are plenty of bananas and nobody wants them, there's definitely not going to be an inflation uh, pressure on it, no matter how much money is in the system. However, if there are moderate amount of, of bananas and a lot of demand for them, everybody wants to bananas, people are willing to pay more in order to get what few bananas there are. There's a shortage of supply and an, an increased demand. Inflation shows itself in two very different ways. One by rising prices and another thing called shrinkflation, where the price stays the same, but the packages get smaller. Like these people that keep messing with my cheese. This is a 450 gram package of sliced cheese, uh, 24 slices. It was $1.99. That was a while ago. I just got them out of the freezer. This one was just purchased recently, 410 grams, 22 slices, same company, same cheese fewer slices, same price. And that's basically what inflation is. Uh, tune in next time when we talk about a very specific type of inflation called a bubble. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, subscribe, and ring that bell for more content. Thank you very much. Until next time.